puzzles. Who doesn't love a hot puzz? And this fresh box to get your brain pumping is brought to you by patron saint of the game, Neil Patrick Harris, MD. <gasps> Thank you, Neil! Hello, we are a couple of game lords and we are drinking Neil Patrick Harris's box one. <laughs> no. the game. Black magic. Black magic. Black magic woman. Ah, you keep away from me. Is that the lyrics? It that is, is 100%. Me. It's 100%. Is that, it? Get the f away from me. It's get the f Get out. Get out. Get out of here with your voodoo, you <laughs> <laughs> Too much magic, you're a s That's the <laughs> lyrics. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh. Do you mind? Because I know you hate mint, and this is just goes from mint. I hate mint, but this is a. Mm. Are you okay with it? I don't like the mint, but the rest is black currants. Blackberries, actually. Yeah, there's black currant and blackberry. Are they different things? Yeah, I don't know. Google that and let me know in the comments. Black currant, blackberry. What's going on there? Neil, <laughs> is there anything you can't do? Hello, magic. Hello, doctor. Hello, singing, dancing. Hosting, hosting Tonys. Yeah, Board actually, games? Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Patron saint! You know how they say like, triple threat, mm. Neil Patrick Harris. What is octothreat? Yeah, he's like a D12. He's one big, beautiful D12. Oh. Every side is a 12 vote. Critical hits every time, Neil. Mm, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Before we begin also, behind here, we've also got every one of his other favorite drinks. Oh yeah, worth pointing out. We've got his mimosa. Love that. We've got his margarita, yep. his pina colada he loves. He loves a bit of- um, Old fashioned. Old fashioned and cold sake. I reckon I'm gonna start on the pina and then fall asleep. <laughs> That's my plan, Neil. Box one, presented by sexy legend Neil Patrick Harris. A trivia and puzzle game for one player, where the less you know, the better. Just get it, <laughs> and come back when you're done. Off the top of this review, we just want to state very heavily, this is entirely spoiler free. And Neil, there are far more reviewers out there doing far less to spoil this game. So come on, give us, give us a hot tweet. Well, we made all your drinks, we love you. <laughs> all right, I had a, Really good time with this. Mm. I think it's a fun experience. I would recommend it, Maz. Would you? For anybody who loves a good mind bender or is particularly fond of escape rooms and, and puzzles of that nature, this is the neck level mm -hmm. of that thing, right? Oh yeah. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. It's great fun. It's a nifty challenge. There's stacks of amazing surprises that you cannot help but be in awe of. Mm -hmm. So the less you know, the better. Look at it. Look at the outside of the box. I look at the outside, you got yeah. Neil, Neil here peering peeking through, through a like, keyhole. Like a glory hole situation, just like, hello? Hello, boys? You, want, you got some surprises in here? You coming in? You coming in or what? Do you need the keys? Yes. It's got this premium feel, a little sticker there for no mm -hmm. reason. That's gorgeous. The pen. Yeah. The notepad. Yeah. The box of cards. It's great. And in its simplicity, because it's just three things. Elegance. Four. Four things when you open Elegance them. and a sense of a premium nature for what works out to be 30 American dollars, which is oh. buggery, buggery boo. That's laughable. It's great, is what we mean there. Elegance is a great word for it. I'm moving on to the peanut. Are you Are moving on to the peanut already? I love it. Loving that mint. I used to work at a restaurant and they got, I got in trouble because I just used to go into the fridge and make peanut coladas my whole shift. <laughs> Where's my peanut? My peanut? Just so you know, at home, Nate loves a hot, thick pinot in his mouth. Look, it could be any day. I'll smash a pinot in oh, anywhere. Give it to me. Mate, I was having pinots at work and they were like, no more pinots. And you know what? I still smashed pinots. You're just gonna open this box and you're gonna start bloody doing cards. Begin. That's the game. Mm -hmm. Trivia, puzzles, codes. Yep. Until it's over. Yep. What did you like about it? It's so unique. I've played other Can, escape rooms. I'm not drinking the peanut. I'm going to move on to the old. I'm just going to have this sake. You're going to smash You can have my sake. Love you. What just happened? Did you spit it out? I'm not drinking that. Ugh. Run to the mimosa. Mimosa? Wait. Oh my god. Did you know that Neil was yes. the president of the board of directors for the Magic f***ing Castle? I didn't know that. Yeah, that's it. That's how into this stuff he is. Really? Yeah. This is all true. Facts. This is legit. True facts. Truefacts.com. NPHTruefacts.com. NPHTruefacts.com. 
slash secret wizard. And it's evident, <laughs> just to wind it back into this shit, mm. this stands alone as a kind of unique experience. I would not call it an escape room in a box as, as other games kind of do. No, it's more either. of an experience yeah. that sort of couches itself in uh, puzzles and mysteries and riddles and, and cognitive thinking. It's just a great little experience to have by yourself too. Oh. Ah. Theory 11 do a really good job. One, obviously the components and what they do mm. in terms of the boxing and everything is just f***ing top tier. Top tier. But in terms of how the game escalates, not yeah. only in difficulty, but surprises one after the other, it has this very satisfying sort of build to a climax that culminates in, uh, you know, pulling everything you've been doing since the beginning of the game mm. all the way to the end. It's not like your typical... Do a puzzle next, do a puzzle next, yeah, do a puzzle right. next. Everything is like building on it on itself. Mm -hmm. and you're constantly referencing and calling back to stuff you've already done mm -hmm. to help you progress even further. Yeah. They've done such a wonderful job with the, the building of tension and the building of um, the, just the atmosphere that yeah. you're going to have sat alone in your fucking house. <laughs> Which usually is just like the worst thing you can do. I'm just going to go and play Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion by myself. <laughs> With a control all Shut up. Characters. Don't do that. Yeah. This one, absolutely do it by yourself. And you're just going to have a little <laughs> games all by yourself, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, like, funnily enough, I was dubious mm. about... Because I remember thinking, oh, it's a bit of a bummer. We can't do it together. Mm. But you did it. Then I did it. Um, and I would actually recommend... Doing it alone, and worth pointing out, you can totally pass it along. You can get someone else to play it when you're done. Yeah, it's up there with the excitement of actually playing it. The idea of passing it to someone and being like, "Now you have this experience." Yeah. Oh my god! Just openly offering away, telling you how to reassemble it to gift it to a friend is uh -huh. the way the planet needs to operate. It really does. NPH, mate. We love you, NPH. Mm. You will need a digital device to play some of right. the things in here that it will reveal. All I'll say on that is the marriage between that mm. and the story it's telling and the puzzles is so expertly done. I don't think I've seen it done better anywhere else. Yeah, mm. I think that's fair. What excites me most is that that kind of unlocks this idea that board games can be more than just what's in the box, what's in the box. And they can really just... The, the world is your oyster and mm. what... Theory 11 and NPH have done with this mm. is exceptional. You can feel the, um, the love for sort of board games as a pastime and also a desire to sort of push them into new territory. You can sort of feel it eking into every component. You just smash in the mug and stare at me in the eyes. Yeah, boy. The mug is strong. Yeah, yeah. I had a bit of the margarita before we sat down and I am scared of the fucking margarita. Give me the bat mug. <laughs> Give me the bat mug. Give me the mug, mug. Oh, yeah, it's... God. Again. Love that. I love that. You yeah. love the mug? Yeah, have okay. my Pinot, you big... Oh, smash. I don't know. That's a, like, I'm going to drink like a whole can of coconut milk. Yeah. Cans! <laughs> what was I saying? Something about the marriage between... Anyway, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> what? What don't we like? Well... If you need help, like most puzzle games, is that there's a, there's a mechanic to help you, mm. give you clues and things. Right. The website that is designed to help you through the puzzles, I feel is a bit lacklustre. I never used it. Oh, this boy. Humble brag! Basically, it doesn't offer clues so much as it just tells, tells you. you right. It just goes, where are you stuck? Are you stuck here? Great, push that, do this. Mm. And you're like, oh. I don't think necessarily people want to know the answer. They still want to feel really clever when they've s figured something out. And I don't, like being nudged in the right direction still gives you that dopamine hit. Yeah. But it is very much, are you stuck here? Here's the solution mm. and it could be a little bit more vague and then give solutions to the people who are really struggling It is box one and I suspect it's box one because there's going to be a box two I think Come on boy You know you want another box? Boys! Give me yeah. a hot box two I think that the difficulty could have been... Uh, it's hard not to sound like a bit of a... No, I, I'm, a, I'm into this too. I feel like people who have experience with these types of games is going to find this quite easy. And I, I Yeah, and I say this in a way that me breezing through this uh, didn't detract from my experience. I, I really don't think. No. I, ne I never 
Yeah, I have to make that clear. I never sat there being like, oh, this is too f***ing easy. Mm. Like, I always managed to be like, oh, I, I want But I was very excited, especially given, I think, the setup, the amount that's going on here. I was excited for the difficulty to get to a point where I was like, what the f*** is going on? Yeah. I'm writing out ciphers and shit and trying to figure this out. Um, like Cicada 3301. Do we know what that is? I don't. Great. Cicada 30... Neil, you know what Cicada yeah, 3301 is, okay? And I'm saying, you don't have to go as hard as that. But there's a, a, a pretty big chasm between here and there. Mm. And it's worth exploring. Uh, because I think even if you were having a hard time with it, you'd still invest it. This is sold as a single player game that I think, as a gimmick, great. But also, I would have had a lot more fun playing with someone else right because i think it's, i think it's a great date night game there's nothing in this box that is like you have to be by yourself so playing with you i feel like we would have had an experience where we can bounce ideas off each other mm. probably solved it a bit faster probably oh i've just i've just figured it out i've just figured neil out what box two is going to be two players that's what i was thinking yeah i was thinking box i got you boy Pardon me, boy. I'll just have another bit of margarita. Have another margarita. Drinking the drinks. I cannot see anymore. I'm hammered. <laughs> Smash.org! One of my main... It's not a gripe. It's just like a negative. I feel like I would have had a lot more fun playing with someone, whether it was you or my partner, and being like, let's do a bit of box one. Yeah. And after playing it, I'm like, oh, I totally could have played that with someone. And we could have had that experience together and been yeah. like, wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Box two, let's enhance it, make it harder, add a second add a player. Second person in. The only other negative I have is I just wish it was longer. That was my thing. I just wish I had more of it. Yeah. You could have quadrupled the runtime of this and I wouldn't have been bored. And that's not me saying it's too short. That's no. me sort of saying how engaging it was. It was very engaging. But you could have, yeah, you could have easily have quadrupled yeah. it and I would have loved it. Very, very bloody, very, very, very good. Yeah. Very good experience. Yeah, Great. I mean, that's a pretty, that's, I mean, that's pretty telling if our criticism is just, there's not enough of this. Yeah. There's just not enough. Let's have a bit of old fashioned. Oh my god, you're, you are. I guess I've had both of the penis. Not into that. We use bourbon instead of whiskey. I'm not into <laughs> Immediately as like it that. touches your lips. Not into that. Anyway, <laughs> old fashioned, disgusting. Moving on. In summary, this is a $30 US game that I think is entirely worth it. And I think for that price at a Target exclusive at the moment right. of recording, Give them your money and take yeah. this home. The, the quality of presentation and what you're getting is a real treat. If you are familiar with it, you're still going to find uh, an unparalleled level of like yeah. investment, quality, uh, yeah. mechanics. So even if you are, maybe you won't find like, oh, this is very, very challenging in a way I'm not familiar with, but you will you, find the, it. The rest of it will make up for that. You'll be space. engaged. You'll be engaged in a way yeah. you may not have been prior. Yeah. Like what I said at the top of the show, you, you can't help but be blown away by what this game has to offer, regardless of your, um, ex you know, your experience with this type of game. Yep. It is doing things no one else is doing mm -hmm. and it's doing better than anyone else is doing. Yeah. That's Get a, on it. That's a hot fact. It's a hot fact, not a cold one. Hot fact, put it in the book. So? Do we approve it? It's pretty <laughs> obvious, like, <laughs> yeah, just instantly. Oh, do go. we do approve you want more? it? Another one? Have a stamp. Yeah, there's a, there's a little stamp for you. Can you, you even see me over the stamp. amount of stamps? Where am I? We have made a pretty big Game Lords decision. Oh. We are inducting. <laughs> into the Hall of Game Lords. I don't have a sword, but I do have a Game Lords official cupcake. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil, Neil, Neil Patrick Harris. And arise, Sir Neil Patrick Harris. Game, game Lord. Lord. You are an official Game Lord. Neil Patrick Harris, thank you so much for this experience. It and, was amazing. And for championing board games in general, we oh. adore you. And wish I had more margaritas. We can make more. We've Let's got all the it. ingredients.
Do you think you'll like that? I think you'll love that. 